Alrighty, hey guys, you're here, and uh, yeah, Clash Clans. First and foremost, thank you to each and every single one of you to click on this video, and an even bigger thank you for all the love and support. The goal of the video is really simple. I'll be using the, the mechas and more before they go away, and uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, so the most important part is definitely to get the eagle out of the way for the mechas, and in order to do that. I have an idea. Okay, to start things off, I'll place the queen here, and whether she goes left or right, it doesn't really matter. But let's just say for the sake of plan, she goes to the left. I'll place the king right here so that way he goes towards the right and I'll also wall break roughly around here so that way the king and queen can take all this out and I should be able to use the king ability roughly around the, on this expo that way they can go even further and while that's going on I'll set in the mechas on the other side along with the blimp towards the town hall and with the warden ability roughly around here the mechas will be able to take all this out yeah really simple plan hopefully it goes good okay here we go just like the plan queen up here the anime skins are my favorite easily by far <laughs> let's see where the queen's gonna go. Looks like she's gonna go down to the left. Well, that's going on. Let's use the king right here. It's going to use two loons. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Queen's gonna go to the right now because I was too slow. But I think that's fine. Let's use the king ability now. Well, looks like the plans are gonna change. That's fine. Maybe that works out really good because the queen can take out both, both scatter shots as well. So that works out really nice. Let's go and rage up the queen. Okay, there we go. Double ice golem. Going to poison up the, the dragon. Okay, let's see. Okay, and let, while that's going on, let's go and get started. RC behind, one, two, and one, two, three, and let's go and save the blimp. Okay, there we go. Baby warden, druid, blimp behind. Two wall breaks, queen ability, warden ability. That should be good. Rage them all up. Surprisingly, okay. There we go. Let's go and rage up the center. Freeze up the town hall and the invisi. Or not. <laughs> That's fine. Let's go and heal everything along with a rage on the town hall. That should be GG's. Let's go and put a druid on the queen. And let's freeze up the multi. Let's start the cleanup process. Perfect. Everything's still alive. Let's go and use the RC ability and that should be GG's. Anime RC for the win. Okay, so the next attack will be a druid hero dive. That sounds fun. Now, this one's actually a good one for the druid hero dive. Okay, to start things off, I will place a baby drag right here. That way, it can take all this out. While that's going on, I'll place the king right here along with the druid. So that way, he walks towards the left. And to make sure there's a good funnel, I'll place the baby drag right here. So that way, it takes all this out. This way, when I place the queen behind the king, I can also place the log launcher right behind her and go straight to the town hall. And with the warden behind them, they should be able to take all this out. And while the heroes are taking all this out, I'll place the mechas right here so that way, they go around the entire base and with the RC they should be able to take out all the remainder defenses hopefully it goes good okay so for this one I do want to go ahead and use a rage gem because I will be setting in the warden with the heroes make sure I got everything okay good to go okay just like the plan baby drag right here and baby drag more right here that way the queen doesn't snipe it okay while well, that's going on king wait a little bit drew it behind queen Baby Warden, Log Launcher, Warden, two more Druids, along with the Rage, there we go, Wall Break, nice, Warden Ability should be good now, Poison everything up, let's go and Freeze, King Ability, send in another Druid along with the Rage, and a Headhunter for the Enemy Queen, I should have been done sooner, but that's okay, okay, while well, that's going on, let's see, how do I want to do this? Let's actually support the queen. Let's switch, switch up the plan. Let's go support the queen. Druid. Nice. Let's start the cleanup process. There we go. Queen's still alive. Ward is meeting up with the mechas. That's OP. Another druid for the enemy RC. Let's go and rage everything all up. Along with a heal. Okay, there we go. Everything's gonna go around. That's perfectly coochie coopy. I wanna rage up this group right here. And one, two, one, two. Wall break over here. I didn't even have to use the queen ability. That's OP. It's gonna freeze this up so the warden can survive. And RC ability. GG to this guy. And on to the next attack. Queen ability. <laughs> okay, for this next attack, I will be using the Zap, Zap Quake variation. And with this one, I do like to use the E Titan and the Ice Column. Okay, this is. 
Zapquake value. Sheesh. <laughs> okay, to start things off, I will Zapquake here. That way I can take all this off the board. And right after, I'm going to place an Ice Golem right here. Along with the King, Queen, and E-Titan. They should be able to take out the three Ice Golems right here. And once they take out, I would say roughly around these, this area right here. I'll send in a Log Launcher in between. That way it goes towards the Town Hall. It activates its Invisi Tower. And the Yetis in the Log Launcher will be able to take out all of this. And whichever the direction the Queen goes, I'll go ahead and support her with the Mechas. That way they go around the entire base. And to make sure the mechas go towards the center, I'll place the RC along with three mechas over here. That way they cut off a good funnel. This way I can definitely get everything in the center. And that should be the three. Okay, just like the plan. I'm going to place the earthquake more towards the center so that way the, the builders don't re rebuild everything. <laughs> Got everything. Okay, so just like the plan. Ice Golem, King, Queen, Poison, E Titan, and send in a Druid, Baby Warden, Head Hunter for the R RC. Okay, there we go. King should come back to full health. And log launcher now. Let's use the king ability. Create a good funnel for the queen. Okay, there we go. Nice. Gonna be able to take out the ricochet cannon. Let's send in a couple druids. Nice wall break here. And let's see. Gonna be a little bit more patient. And now should be good. There we go. I have four left. Druid behind. And to make sure there's a good funnel, RC behind. Okay, and let's see. Let's rage up the Yetis. Let's freeze all of this. Okay, there we go. Okay, where are the mechas gonna go? They're gonna meet up with the other mechas, which is nice. Let's have the cleanup process so I don't time fail. One, two, one, two, three. Is it behind? Let's go and freeze up all of this. Perfect. Warden, follow the mechas. Thank you. Warden ready now, so that way the mechas survive. Now everything's gonna die in the center, but that's perfectly fine. Queen's in the center as well. <laughs> that's GG's RC ability. And wall break over here. Headhunter for the enemy king, and GG to this guy. I don't even have to use my queen ability. Okay, so for the final attack, I will be using a fireball on the warden. Where's the most fireball value? I think the most fireball value is actually the eagle. Okay, to start things off, I'll place the wooden right here, so that way he targets onto the air defense's multi-inferno. And once the warden takes all this out, I'll be able to use the warden ability over the eagle. And with an earthquake, they should be able to take out both expos right here. And by then, the 35 seconds should be up. And depending on whichever way the warden goes, I use the queen right here to pull them back. So that way she goes towards the left. And I'll use the king right here so he goes around. And I can wall break here. And that way I can send in the log launcher towards the town hall. And to make sure there's not too much damage on the queen and the warden. I'll go ahead and send in the mechas over here. And I'll save roughly around three. That should be enough to take out this area right here. And this way the mechas can take all this out. And meet up with the warden in the center. But yeah. Really simple plan. Hopefully it goes good. Obviously I'm, I'm leaving out this area right here. Because the mechas and the queen should be able to take all this out. Okay off I go. Just like the plan. Warden first. Healers behind. The only scary part is the warden taking forever on the on the king. Let's go ahead and rage. That way I can get through the king really fast. Tesloon. There we go. Let's go into earthquake. Warden ability now. Perfect. I even got both heroes. <laughs> Forgot the wizards unfortunately though. Okay, so time is gonna be this is gonna be kinda awkward though. Okay, warden's jelly should be war off. Perfect. Wall break here. Two druids on the king. Another wall break here for the king. Baby warden. Log launcher now. Two test loons. Now the queen's gonna walk around, which is fine. As long as she gets that. What's it called? Ricochet cannon? I'll be Kuchikopi. Let's go ahead and earthquake. That way I can open up the walls. Perfect. Let's use the king ability. Rage up the queen and the warden. Poison everything up. And while that's going on, let's go ahead and send in the mechas over here. RC behind to support. Drew it as well. Okay, let's go ahead and freeze everything up. Let's see where the mechas are going to go over there. So, four mechas along with the druid. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and invisi all this stuff. Perfect. Let's, let's rage the queen and the warden. Rage the RC and the mechas. Everything's going to die, but that's fine. Okay, RC ability now. Perfect. Okay, let's start the cleanup process. Okay, everything's still surviving, thankfully. <laughs> Come on, can we survive? 
Nice, she got the she got the multi-archer. Was it a little messy? Yes. Was it really close? Yes. But a three is a three, and a great way to end the war. And GG to this clan. Double perfect war. Okay, that's a good place to end it. If you made this fun to the video, thank you so much for watching. And again, I can't thank you guys enough for all the love and support. But yeah, it's been AOZ guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks guys.